channel Healing Marie Vintage. Today I have the very exciting vintage haul from Glenna's, which was the warehouse I went to in my last video that I went out on Tuesday with my trip to the castle with Christina, which I'll link her channel down below and I'll also link Glenna's Etsy shop. I had such a good experience shopping there and I'm so excited to show you guys what all I got there. So I hope you enjoy this video. Before we hop into the haul, I wanted to real quick show you everything I tried on in the store. I have 12 items here that I picked up. I'm very excited about each and every one of them. First up, we've got this guy. I thought it was a pillow cushion, but then I realized uh, it could be worn on your head. I think it was actually for like your hair setting and it's like this like goofy, dumb peony. Um, hi, Spooky, that's really excessive of you. Hi, stop it. Do you really, Jesus Christ. Hi, that's so nice. I just got home from work and I think Spooky needs a little bit of a snuggle. Sorry for the mic caught chaos, this probably caused you. I just thought this was super funny and super goofy and I really love it. Uh, so I picked it up. Next up I have, I have a hat. So as you saw, it was a daisy hat and it is for a future project. It's very cute. It kind of looks like so, but it's just a good example of what I'm kind of looking to do for something in the future. Then last on the hat department, I got this like heart-shaped 40s hat with this really beautiful veil. This is just absolutely lovely and I loved it. And of course it was the most expensive hat there. So I had to have it cause that just seems to be how my life works. The room of hats was huge. So all things considered, the fact that I'm only walking away with three is pretty impressive. This whole warehouse was huge. If you didn't watch that video, definitely go and check it out. I will put it in the eye right here. Oh, I now have like very poofy hair. Yeah, this was a huge warehouse and given the fact I like feel like it had like 9,000 pieces in it. The fact that I walked it out with only 12 feels pretty impressive to me. So yeah, that's that guy. Uh, and then next up I have this very lovely lacy blouse. Uh, I got this to layer under things. I think it's really pretty. It's tall by shapely, uh, which I am, I guess neither of those things, but uh, it's really cute and I think it'll layer out layer under things really, really well. Uh, the next, the rest of the eight items are dresses and I'm showing you them. No hugely particularly order, but I did save my favorite for last. First up is this guy here, which is just a green, uh, probably 1950s dress. It has a pretty full skirt, kind of square dancey. Um, and then it's kind of like this, it's like kind of a weird polyester fabric. Uh, it might be 60s. Actually, it is probably 60s looking at the abstract of the flowers. It's really lovely, it fits me really well. Uh, it does need, I will note a lot of the things that I got need a little bit of fixing because usually she doesn't put things in her Etsy shop until they're fixed. And I of course was picking up things before she put them in her Etsy shop. So this one here need, it needs like just like some patching done here. Whoever said the original piece kind of made a mess. So I just gotta fix that up, which will be really easy. Next up, I'm very excited about this piece. Uh, the only thing wrong with this piece is it needs a bath. It's really interesting. The skirt is really, really stiff and then the bodice isn't as stiff. Uh, so I'm not quite sure why that is. And the only thing this piece really needs is a bath. There is a bit of a spot. I think it's probably a rust stain near the bow. Um, and it is by Helen Fenton Originals, California, size 12. It's a smidge big for me in the back. So I also might be putting some darts in the back, but I also don't always mind. Like if I don't see the back, I don't know that I care. 
you know? I love it and you all know I love kind of this like cottagey peasant feel that this top has and it fits overall really cute. Next up, I love this dress. This is a, I think, 40s piece, yeah. It's a white flocked nylon. Um, it has little, the little uh, details on it are little flocked hats with swirls and flowers. This gown does need a bath. As you can see, I don't, or maybe you can't see on the camera. I have no idea what you can and can't see. Uh, but the, the like nylon is a little bit dull and I think just a bath and like retro clean or something like that will like make it really nice. Like I said, uh, most things that I bought, I bought before she's had time to wash them or clean them. So that is why they are the way they are. Everything from her Etsy shop is pretty pristine. But yeah, I'm very excited. I think this is gorgeous. I really like the seam detailing that's up at the top here. Uh, you can see it when I wear it. It's super lovely. And yeah, a bath is pretty easy way to take care of it. All right, and then next up, I absolutely love this piece. It reminds me of something from Queen's Gambit. This is the little bolero, and then this is the dress, and I also love a bolero dress set. It's really always very easy to mix and match these pieces into other pieces in your wardrobe. In this case, it's really easy because they're kind of, this is like a neutral or green, and then it has really cute pleats. I don't think there's a brand in it, but I'll double check. Nope, I think this guy's homemade. Um, and super lovely, and I absolutely love it. Um, and this one's pretty much in like good to go condition. I don't really need to do anything to fix this one up. Uh, and yes, I absolutely love this bolero. I took some photos with this guy around the castle that we stayed in um, because I felt like it felt I felt like it fit some of the vibes of the castle. Uh, but yeah, so cute. Next up, I absolutely adore this dress. This is another that Christina found in the racks that I missed. Uh, this is a 1940s house dress, super pretty. Uh, this one is pretty much just in wearable condition as is. I might give it a bath in retro clean to kind of see. There's like some just variations. I wouldn't call them spots. They're just kind of some like fading variations that probably happened because this is a house dress and so somebody was cooking and cleaning in it. So I'm just kind of curious if a like bout of retro clean would clean it up, uh, but it's really cute. I absolutely love this fabric. And I love the neckline, it has scallops on it. And it has like this kind of cute, like faux tie ribbon thing at the front. I don't know, I just think this is really, really cute. And I absolutely adore it. And I love the pockets, of course. And there's just some really cool and cute detailing on this, uh, like on the pockets and stuff. And it fits me really well and it's really comfy. So this is like the perfect summer dress. Like I said, I'll probably give it a go in some retro clean, but I don't. I don't really care if any of the discoloration in it comes out because like I said, it's just somebody else's and if I'm gonna wear it as a house dress, I'm sure I'll make a few messes in it. So next up, we're getting to the long and fancy. This is the long, not the fancy. Uh, this is a beautiful 70s piece. I also tried on gunny sacks. I got this one because it's more unique than a gunny sacks. The gunny sacks that she had was blue and beautiful, but it was a smidge big on me. This fit me better because it has the tie. And this is just more unique. I really like the patterns of this. Let me see. I don't think there's a brand, but let me double check. No, it's like, it's definitely factory made. It has like one of those paper tags. Uh, but I just liked the coloring of this so much more and the lace placement. And I love these sleeves. I don't actually know what this type of sleeve is called, but I've seen them around. I think they're super fun. Um, and I, yeah, I just, I really like the colors of this. And this one just like floated my boat more than the gunny sacks because honestly a plain blue gunny sacks doesn't necessarily do it for me because it would be pretty easy for me to sew up one of those that would fit me exactly. Uh, so I was pretty excited to get that one and that's why that one beat out the actual gunny sacks. I mean, it looks like a gunny sack, so you know, close enough. Next up, we are getting into evening gowns. I have just two pieces left for y'all uh, and I'm very excited about them both. This first one, both are too fancy for my life, by the way, though. This first one is absolutely stunning. This is, I believe, a 70s or 80s piece, uh, like a 70s or 80s does 40s. Uh, it has a lot of 40s inspo in it, elastic wrists, the way this fits. Uh, in the try-on, uh, you'll see that I don't do a good job trying it on because I can't zip it up without help, actually. Uh, it is definitely a later, like, ginks. It's a size 8, and I was a size 12, like, back in the 40s. Uh, but it, also, you can tell by the tag. Uh, this here is a Jack Bryan. It's polyester, actually, which it fooled me. It feels like silk. 
Uh, it feels really high quality, but it's good to know it's polyester. Uh, and this one does need a little bit of work. It just needs me to fix some beadwork, which will be easy peasy for me. And I absolutely love it, and I hope to wear it too many places and feel super pretty in it. Uh, I feel like a stunning in this dress. Um, and I mean, the beadwork is just so beautiful. I feel like modern dresses a lot of times like are kind of more like crystals or like studded and are less like beaded like this. Like I feel like that's something really missing from modern clothing. And I just love the silhouette of this and everything. I actually have a project very close to this silhouette coming up that I'm sewing uh, because uh, I love it so much. Uh, this skirt also, I think it's, there's like a lot of panels in this skirt. It's really, really like circly and nice and pretty and I absolutely love it. Uh, and I'll have to look up the brand, the Jack Bryan, because I, I really like this dress and I'm curious what else uh, came from that designer. Now last up is the dress I am most excited about. It does need a bath. Um, there's some spots on it. Um, and so I'm gonna like color bleed test this, but it's this beautiful ombre gown from either like the 50s or 40s. Uh, the neckline kind of reminds me of the 40s, but it does have a back zip, which might make it more 50s. Way these sleeves are attached are very 40s. Uh, it is a Ray Hildebrand. Um, I don't, I'm not familiar with this brand. Uh, it's in overall really good condition. Um, I did traipse through the garden grounds on it, so the bottom definitely also needs a wash. I did that because I already knew I had to bathe this guy, so I was like, well, may as well like take it through a garden uh, if I already have to wash it. And then the other thing is the flowers are not in the best condition, which is totally okay. Uh, I have ordered a bunch of 40s flowers to potentially replace them. So when those come in, I'll kind of see how they look and how I feel about them and probably at the very least replace this guy up at the top that's pretty flattened and in relatively rough, rough condition. Um, but otherwise, this, this dress is so pretty. Oh, good. There's a way to hang it in the inside that's going to put less strain on the strap. So that's always exciting to see. Uh, the other thing is I can, like, wash this without having to wash the roses. The roses are actually sewn on very loosely by hand. Uh, a lot of times garments from this time were designed so you could take off things like this to wash the dress itself. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Uh, and, yeah, I'm... I'm so excited. I took some amazing photos in this dress. I absolutely loved it. Um, and yeah, uh, I just had such a good time. Glenna is so wonderful. If you're ever in Tacoma and Washington, I highly recommend you make an appointment with her and try to stop by if you love vintage. It was really overwhelming, um, but I can't, I can't believe I found these like eight really beautiful. Like all of these are not necessarily rare pieces, but pieces that you don't find in one vintage shop at a time, if that makes sense. Like, usually to find all these different types of pieces, I would have probably have to hit, like, five or six shops as opposed to, like, obviously just her warehouse. And when I was there, I only went through the 40s and 50s racks thoroughly, and then the 60s and 70s I just kind of, like, quickly went through. So I'll definitely be back. I have to save up some money, and I'll definitely be back again because it was seriously such a cool experience, and she was so lovely. And she definitely enjoyed us trying on the dresses. Be sure to check out Christina's video like this. I will link it down below. But other than that, this wraps us up. And I will see you in my next video. Uh, I put out videos every Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And I would love if you would stick around and hit that subscribe button. As well as like and comment down below on which your favorite is. Uh, and I will see you next time. Bye!